Hello moose lovers and moose ladies out there. I know it's been a little while since I did a video, so uh, thank you for sticking around. Done a few little things with the car, doing it, hopefully doing a few other new things with it today. So the first thing, of course, is the ever important handbrake handle. So bought a new one of these, of course, didn't realize it was even missing until someone told me, and of course it's already broken because I slammed it down the other day angrily and uh, snapped it. So I'm already on my second one of those. The other interior mod that I have done has caused some serious performance issues. This, this little seat back here, it just seems to make the whole car go slower and um, haven't really figured out why. I mean, it's an interior mod. It shouldn't have anything to do with performance. And yet for some reason, um, I don't know, just I, I can't seem to get the gas pedal as hard as I want it to. And, and the cornering just seems so much softer ever since I put that in. So my personal mechanic is coming over today to uh, put in some new spark plugs, see if that helps with any of the, the power stuff. And I'm also gonna try putting in a cabin air filter to see if that helps with any of the smells uh, that have also um, started randomly appearing in the car. So the other reason that I'm doing the uh, spark plugs in the cabin air filter is because they're part of the 150,000 mile service and I keep getting the notification on the dash that uh, service is overdue. So this car has almost 160,000 miles on it and I've got wonderful records signed by dealerships up until, or I should say up through 112,000 miles and then 120,000 miles, no more after that. So if we look at what the manual says for 150,000 miles, it's basically the entire list. Cabin air filter replace, brake fluid level check, battery check, check fluid battery replace, fine, parking cool brake level check, replace adjust, the cool brake fuel lines, brake hose doesn't fall through. I guess I haven't done the right filter wrong time. I've done that with a full air box out. You don't have to do that. Steering system check, auxiliary drive belt, clutch and guide, exhaust system, check for damage or leaks, potentially replace with aftermarket. Yeah, it says that right here. Replace exhaust with aftermarket. All that's on the 150,000 mile service. Main things left though are spark plugs and doing the cabin air filter. We're gonna take care of two of those and then yeah, the brake system stuff. So that's the other thing that I've gotta figure out whether I'm gonna try and DIY that. Let me get, uh, let me get going on this. Step one, step one of replacing the cabin air filter in a Volvo is removing the gas pedal. Totally normal thing to do. I guess I was really worried about the three seven millimeter bolts that were supposed to be holding this door in place. See all the tabs that it's got? But fortunately, some very courteous person went ahead and removed those for me. So I didn't have to worry about it. Isn't that so kind? All I had was this was this one screw here holding it holding that flap in. So neat. 
I can already tell that this was definitely, definitely not done in 150,000 miles. Well-maintained, oh, yeah, no, that's, there's the driving side, yeah. It was well-maintained up until 120,000 miles, and uh, not so, not so well-maintained since. Can you see all that? Yeah, that all came out with the filter. Oh my God, this car came from North Carolina. The pine tree smell is, is seriously sending me straight back home to the pine forest and the foothills of Appalachia. Woo dog! What's gonna find under these seats? What's this? It looks like a pill. Uh-oh. I've been trafficking drugs this whole time? Oh my god. What is this? I bought a drug mule car. All right. The rat in my garage is going to love finding that. Ugh. Gotta go get a vacuum cleaner and clean all this crap up. All right, part three, putting the filter back in without scratching it on any of the studs. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it went in sort of, it <laughs> reminds me a lot of doing the air box actually. Once you get the angle right, it just sort of slides right into place. So not too bad overall. Now we put the one screw back in here to hold the thing on. Well, despite it just being one screw, it feels pretty secure, so maybe someday if I find that particular type of screw somewhere, I'll replace them. I doubt it. Okay. That's it for the cabin air filter. Should be all good to go. Pretty sure I got the airflow direction correct. The gas pedal's back in installed. And so now I'm just waiting on my personal mechanic to show up. Apparently he's also bringing my personal mad scientist with him to scan some codes on this thing for some reason. So we'll see what that's all about. So now we wait. Will the mechanic ever show up? Was the air filter installed correctly? Are all those smells really coming from the back seat? Find out next time on V50R.